I went to bed last night and woke up this morning and found out the assembly passed a bill. Senate President Steve Sweeney looked a little like the guy who left the party before all the fun started. After last week's heavy lifting of a Sweeney-backed transportation trust fund plan, it looked like enough lawmakers were going to hold their noses and vote for the thing yesterday. But then Governor Christie joined the talks, and before the night was over, gone were the cuts to the estate tax, charitable giving deductions, and the jet fuel tax, all replaced by a 1% cut in the state sales tax and tax deductions on retirement plans. This morning, Sweeney was the one on the outside, and Assembly Speaker Vincent Prieto was the one who got the deal he liked. We were all communicating yesterday, and this was a direction my caucus liked when to go, and I stayed there until the late hours to get, you know, fine-tuning to whatever technical amendments we had to do and get it accomplished. I'm hopeful that, um, you know, when the members of the Senate get the opportunity to consider the fact that we have the first broad-based tax cut for all New Jerseyans in over 20 years, that they'll see the power of that and um, answering the call that people have had for making sure that we have a constitutionally dedicated uh, source of revenue to continue to improve our roads, our bridges, and our mass transit. I, I don't like what I'm hearing, uh, and I am recommending that we run the original bill through that, uh, that I embraced uh, a few weeks ago. When you left last night, you thought there was uh, something different happening in the Assembly? We didn't think anything was happening. To be perfectly honest with you, we weren't sure in the Senate about it. You know, when we were discussing, in fact, a lot of the Senate felt it wasn't a good deal, uh, both sides of the aisle. So we just got to figure it out. There are mere days left in the fiscal year, and we appear to be no closer to a TTF deal than we were at this time last year. Or are we? We will talk to the Assembly and we'll talk to our caucus and get the temperature of our caucus and we'll have an idea where we're going by Thursday. Is a sales tax something that you can live with in lieu of the other deal? It is. The way we were going I thought was the right approach, I'll be honest with you. And the last minute changes are a little difficult, but as I said, within the next day or two we should have it cleared up. I just don't know how anyone in good conscience could vote to give away $1.6 billion without even having an idea on where that money will come from, how we will replace it, or what programs we will cut in order to meet that funding. On first blush, it may look like there's a billion dollar hole. There's not. Uh, but clearly, th there's no. this is not a final package. It's going over to the Senate, and uh, you can make your argument to the Senate. You're saying that, that the math works? Absolutely. Economists could debate that, but it's the governor who says whether the math works, and it's now up to the Senate president to come to the realization that he agrees. For NJTV News, I'm David Cruz.